Careful. And this is kind of what I would have expected, I guess. Oh god, limp! One more hit! Oh no, the decrepify! Again. Again and again and again and again and again and again and again, again this time. Got no. him this time. I don't And a regen. Regen rune? Oh gonna no. continue to dominate this lane. How does Miracle keep beating people mid with goddamn Medusa? I don't know, but Nico Baby's about to get a kill on Weeha and didn't expect that. So, movement speed. Thank you very much, GH. No boots either. He's just, he's just that fast. Oh no! This, Is he please, go tell for this, him? please tell me this. Please tell me this solo kill. Oh my god, Nico baby! <gasps> that would have been so sick if he pulled that off. The funny thing was, his FNG turned around for the heal. If he'd kept going, who knows? Maybe he gets an adequate enough body block. S4 is going to be slowed down even more. The boar continues to poison him up. Hanskin deals with the boar really quickly. That was the first thing he addressed. Wasn't going for the heroes there. No, it's big enough, right, that you, it, you'd be willing to move a core over. Yeah. You could secure that. It becomes an objective at that point when it, get, when it gets that big. Oh, no. Is, is he going to do it again? Into the tier two tower. He's going to pop his healing salve. FNG is going to turn around and kill that healing salve. So hopefully Weeha will die the last couple tower hits. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's Sudoku's. Was, uh, almost another team that we're going to win it twice. Lip trying to run him down. Sunray. I think most people's argument would be Anna. Why they do this when he's not six? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try to run him down. So if they get the shackle shot, it'll be free doom. Yeah. So that will man, they brought Nico Baby to this. That's very interesting. So I wonder if S4 is gonna TP out. Yeah, I think he's that... trying to get the board tonight. You see this? He's gonna go for it. Oh, he mana voids to ensure that is respect. Pugna's supposed to have the tower by this point. Oh dear. S4 is going to come in, see if they can kill uh, Mind Control again. He does manage to get the tower here, drawing a lot of tension. They're even going to drop the Golem to prevent Mind Control from juking in the trees too much, as he did have the Hawk over there. Weehaw, okay, they do manage to get that kill. So Alliance, a kill on both sides of... He just got another one. That mid lane tower is dead. Necro 2 already. And now he's going to go hunting, and he's probably going to get a kill here. He's going to run into FNG with GH behind him with the double damage. So FNG is very, very dead. And Doesn't Nico, baby, he's pressured enough. Can he block this? Can he block this? Spell shield. It's baited out. Goes for the rupture with a blood right. He gets him, but he blinks into the trees and te dying on the Arc Warden, a much less tanky hero. He was having a much worse game. And still they were responding. Still they were getting return kills. Managed to get the roar out. Sunray over the top. Nico, baby's definitely going to get the chance to blink away, but he's still going to go for the supernova. Nico, baby, though, he's just going to turn around with Hanskin and quickly kill that egg. Okay. It's not a... All right. You don't need to hold your breath. does have to vacate the area. There's really just not that much area to farm at all as, as Alliance. Alliance going to be able to jump on a Weeha here. Ooh, what was that damage, man? Was there a Dagon? Did I see a Dagon? GH Phoenix. He doesn't have Icarus Dive, so... He is stuck in Nico, baby. You don't need to mana void him, because he's got full mana anyway. Get me to the mana void, and you see that he has low mana. It's like, no way he's going to do that. Yeah, yeah. No. Doom, Alliance, they're picking up a lot of kills here around the map. And the rest of Enigma is going to come in here. They have the Necro Book 3, so they're certainly strong even with some allies down. They're going to start going for S4, slowing them down. The Minus Armor doing a lot of work. Miracle's going to come in. They do have to have the Golem drop here, but the Stone Gaze is out. The rest of the allies have to retreat and leave S4 behind. They're going to turn around to Crepify, but okay, he actually does manage to get a blink away. There was no match. It just feels like every part of this team utilizes the Vengeful the Spirit really yep. well. Yep, it's a very good complementary hero. S4 is going to be found here. Yule Scepter drop down. The Blood Rite's not going to stun him. Him, but he's uh, very easily, or I thought he was very easily going to die. To Crepify just buys him a few seconds. Then he goes down. Nigma asked enough. And he goes, oh. definitely got the Scotty now. So he's, he's looking to come in. Pop that illusion. Golem out onto Medusa. Swap back by RMN. Uh, S4, though, sticks onto him as much as possible. He does have, still have the Scotty hits, and they have to back away from the Supernova, which is really nicely placed by GH. There's the swap into the Supernova stun that we were talking about before. Well, Nico, baby, cannot play this fight. He is ruptured up right now, so the rest of his team is just being laid. Total havoc right now by Nigma. They're just taking whatever heroes they can, and Nico, baby, can do nothing but watch from the. With Aegis and Cheese, especially Cheese. Yep.
So uh, I do wonder who's holding on to the cheese, because I, I kind of just want to have that opportunity to pass it over to the Medusa, if it's really warranted. Nico Baby is just, once again, going to blink. Oh, he actually managed to get the rupture on him in his uncontrollable illusion. Is burned Weeha out of mana, so Nico Baby's going to go back in. Weeha being out of mana isn't taking that much damage. He does have the cheese here. Is he going to pop it and turn around and try and go for the rupture again? Blood right out, Yule Scepter down. Okay, that's not the combo. Nygma has beginning to show that they feel they, they need to address this hero, so let's go ahead and try and plan out a trap. Now that smoke does turn into a kill on a GH, nice and easy. They can go for it. He's got a minute with that Aegis, so he wants to be able to do something with this. RMN, really hoping he's gonna be able to find a kill here. There's the swap into the rupture into the Beastmaster Roar, so they do manage to kill that hero and take the melee barracks. They can't trade one for one though. And Nico Baby's already hitting their melee barracks. They're just going to go for two. And this is the power of the Beastmaster with the Medusa. You've got a damage amplifier. You have the Blood Ray down to the Medusa with the Venjor as well. They cannot underestimate how much physical damage Nigma can do with this. They're going to have to come back. They're going to have to come back right now. They're going to have to fight into this. 30 seconds still left on the Aegis. Nico Baby is going to be forced to come in and fight against Miracle here. At least shove him away. Backdoor protection is back up, so they will be saved from having to fight into the second level. I think he probably can get RMN here with the with the Scotty on the ranged hero. Oh, no. that was nice. I don't think it matters, but that was no, nice. No, I don't think so either. If he thought, okay, no, it is going to matter. They're going to pop the Doom immediately out of GH, but that's just a support pickup. And now Miracle's here with the stone case. They actually did manage to get the stone form on Nico, baby. We, huh? Coming forward, seeing if he can grab somebody with the rupture. Nico, baby, you can see on the side, he's ready to jump in. He's ready to grab onto this Vengeful Spirit, quickly take him out, and then start focusing on Miracle. But now he's been Primal Roared, and Miracle is able to focus in turn. Take down the enemy carry, bring down S4 as well. That's two dead on the side of Alliance. Slightly slower, but Miracle outputs enough damage at this point that Repair Kit is that big of a problem. That's why S4 is going to make his stun. He forces out the Manta and gets the Centaur stun. The swap back, though, onto the Rupture. And that just quickly takes him out. He's the one with buyback. That's why he was the initiator in the first place. But the Stone Gaze allows them to be able to take Megas. Man. Blood Rage plus Beastmaster Aura means Miracle's hitting for a billion shots. That is a snake machine gun right there. Nico Baby does manage to get away from the silence, but now he's been ruptured again by Weeha. Meanwhile, the Doom placed onto the Medusa doesn't really change a whole lot. Miracle just keeps on pressing forward. They're going to be able to get the die back here onto S4. It's looking like the Golem slowing things down a little bit. He needs the health. He needs the blink. He needs something to be able to get out. Nico Baby does manage to bring down the Medusa. He finally sees the opportunity. They ran out of disables, and he was able to stick on top. Gets that kill on the carry. Now the Shackle Shot actually laid out. Meanwhile, Weeha. Oh, he bounced back the Rupture onto himself. He thought he was going to be able to kill Weeha, but by rupturing himself, he kills his own escape. He tried to man mode up when he could have just gotten out. Which means that Nigma do get to hold on to their buyback from the Medusa. Oh, and they have a repair kit. That helps. Is that repair kit going to be enough? Five seconds. They have a glyph as well, so that's certainly enough for the Medusas to come online. That's why they need to be able to jump somebody here. But S4 has already been ruptured up. Pops his BKB stance there. Nico Baby trying to protect his homie, but he's got to get out. They've got to retreat. They're not going to be able to get the Megas. Turn around, Primal Roar off the Lotus Orb. They do actually bounce that back with a spell block and hit him. But Weeha is still chasing down this enemy, and they're losing out on their tier fours from the Megas inside of their base. They have to get back now. Yule Scepter once again. The spell shield blocks it, returns it back on a Weeha. Come on, guys. We'll show you how to throne. Or maybe. Just maybe, Jenkins. They're going to be able to formulate a defense. Nico Baby, they're going to pop out with the Golem. They're going to go straight to Mind Control. They know the second life is out onto the Medusa, so let's just get on many black backline heroes as possible. And that's why the Medusa is turning back to try and protect that backline. They do manage to kill the Doom. No buyback there. But the Warlock does have the buyback. Meanwhile, the Shackle Shot is just stalling up this Medusa. Megas, they need to be able to deal with Nico Baby, who's playing the edge of the fight right now, trying to catch these heroes. The Repair Kit is onto the throne, and Miracle's going to start working towards it. It's so tanky, Refresher, man. Refresher, GH, dive it in once again. Limp's gonna come forward, dig crap, fine, try and slow it down. Supernova goes down. Mana Void wasn't enough to be able to ring down the Phoenix. He has to focus on the egg, and he will manage to get it, but now he's gotta get out. Manta, jump it away. But Miracle says, fine, if you're gonna ignore me, I'm gonna hit your throw. Nico, baby, actually does manage to get Weeha here. Miracle, very rapidly, he's been left alone inside the enemy base. Now they're gonna be able to kind of run. He does have the Aegis. Ventral Spirit is gonna buy back and go to the outpost. This is damn hopeful to see if he can bail out Miracle here, as he's gonna be losing his first life. Second life, Megas and a miracle. Can he do it?
Nico, baby, going in. Neely managed to get the bash. He's burning through his mana so quickly. Miracle's left exposed. He's turned around the damage, and he gets taken out by the mana void. Alliance will... I think he might legitimately give up Megas. We're gonna see. Nico, baby, swap back in. Immediately, Bravo Roar, but he hits the Beastmaster. Now he's been ruptured, though. Nico, baby, he's got to get out of here. He blinks over the side. He may be TPing out. No, he's gonna hold for now. He's gonna try and help out S4. S4 being swapped back in once again. Nico, baby, goes a little bit farther. The blood right out. Needs a vision to be able to get the Yules. Won't be able to catch them. Nico, baby, is safe, though. That's what's. Nico. Nico, baby, blinking forward. He managed to get him. Abyssal Blade trying to bring him down as quick as possible. The Golem's going to go there as well. He's out of mana. Can he actually get off the mana void? He's silenced right now. He's stunned as well. No, he doesn't get it off. He doesn't get the opportunity. Immediately buys back, though. Miracle, he's kind of stuck here. If Animage can get here fast enough, they may still have their opportunity to set off that bomb. He's down backstage. Ask him about okay. it. Smoking Nigma. They're going to try and find a pickoff on somebody here. It's going to be S4. Swap back into the Primal Roar, and he's ruptured. S4 is not going anywhere here. He's going to turn around, do what damage he can. Light Drain's going to come in, trying to help him out, but he's dead. He does have a buyback, though. Alliance can still fight this as five. Miracle approaches with his Divine Rapier, but Decrepify is going to be able to slow nice down shackle. with a Shackle Shot. That's a beautiful setup. Looks like Nico Baby jumps to the back line, actually. S4, he's pushing forward. He gets on top of him, trying to get the Doom out. Finally, he does manage to do that much. The Stone Gaze has already gone and down, and it looks like S4 is going to die back. Weeha coming forward, but it's a four versus five with Nico Baby still MIA. Is he going to be able to jump under this enemy? He's he's way in the back right now. He jumps forward, goes for Weeha, but he slowed down. He does the Divine Rapier. It brings him down. He doesn't have buyback. He never address the Medusa and they fight now to take the throne and there's no issues here Nigma will close out the series 2-0 it got a little questionable